This is my man that was just jogging. All he was doing was jogging, being black. Here we go. Now to a deadly shooting that's inflamed racial tensions in a Georgia community. Tonight, video has surfaced of an African-American man being chased down and killed. His family says he was just out jogging. We should warn you, the video is graphic. Here's CBS's Omar Villafranca. This cell phone video captures the final moments of Ahmaud Arbery's life while he was jogging through this Brunswick, Georgia neighborhood in February. Arbery was confronted by Gregory McMichael and his son Travis, who shot Arbery twice with a shotgun before the 25-year-old collapsed and died. Arbery's mother, Wanda Jones. Proves that my son was not committing a crime. He was out for his daily jog and he was hunted down like an animal and killed. Gregory McMichael was the only witness in the police report. He told investigators he thought Arbery was a burglary suspect and ordered him to stop. McMichael then what? said Arbery violently attacked his son and the two fought over the shotgun before Travis shot him twice. At the time, no charges were filed. Attorney Lee Merritt represents Arbery's family. Nothing else after that video today, both of the McMichaels, uh, Gregory McMichael and Travis McMichael, should be behind bars. McMichael is a former law enforcement officer who used to work for the local DA. Due to conflicts of interest, the case is now on its third prosecutor who says he will ask a grand jury to bring charges. I'm hoping that all hands involved, they're indicted and they go to jail. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got to take this one first. Normally, I pass the baton to Larry or T-Stream, but I got to take this. This one's personal to me. I'm tired of this shit. I really am. I live in a neighborhood where it's not many black people. I job. My wife constantly is saying, Lamont, where are you going to job? Where are you going to be at today? And I kind of look at her with a side eye sometimes. I'm like, honey, I'm a grown man. I'm going to be good. But when you hear these fucking stories like this, this is why my wife is always constantly wanting to know where am I at, how long it takes me to jog, because if something happens, she wants to know where she can come and save me. I am so tired of this. First of all, you know it's home damn cooking. The fucker worked for the police department in that area. And you just think you're not, you're retired. And you think it's okay to go chasing a black dude just because he fits the description of a burglary? Where have we heard that story from, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Trayvon Martin. And then you find him, and then you shoot him dead. And this happened in February. No sense. We need justice because I guarantee them to you, if the roads was reversed, we'd be under the bus. And and Larry, I'm gonna give it to you. That's all I got to say because I'm I'm steaming mad about that. You, I'm gonna shut up before I get in trouble. So Larry, it's on you. I'm gonna shut up. We need a drop squad. And I'm not bullshitting. We need a drop squad. Yep. There needs yep. to be retribution. We cannot depend on our state, local, federal government to protect our rights. We need a drop squad. We need to make sure that people understand that when you kill a black man, an innocent black man, the consequences will be so severe that you will have to give everybody else a moment of pause. They may come after some of us, but we have to let them know that there will be retribution. There needs to be a damn drop squad. I don't know how it's formulated. I don't know who makes it up. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know who they'll be, but it needs to happen. People like that need to just simply disappear, and that needs to be it. <sighs> There's enough former Black Special Forces people out there. There's enough people out there that have the training. It needs to happen. I'm not calling for it because I don't know if that's legal or not. It's probably not, so I'm not calling for it. I'm saying that if it happens, I'm supporting it. I'm, I'm emotionally, spiritually, and, vulgar, and, and verbally supporting it. T-Stream. This, this is some bullshit. Yep. T-Stream, I'm give it to you. Man, I tell you what. <clears throat> and, and let me apologize, y'all. I know I said I was going to get rid of my, my language ban, but this bothers me, man. I'm getting ready to be a dad in two months. And when I see this, and then you have two months go by, and nothing has happened. And nothing would have happened if the, the media wouldn't have picked up this story now. I'm sorry, T-String. I just want to apologize for my language because I'm this burns me up. But go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now, I'll tell you what, man. is You are right. You are right with me. And I, I, I agree with Larry as well. You know, uh, I, <laughs> I keep saying and folks keep and, and I know folks think something wrong with me or that I'm crazy. But I'm telling you, you guys... 
is is going to get is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And you know, and the reason why is because the the law enforcement is so passive on these type of offenses. Why? Well, and, fuck, I'll tell you why. Because it has been a long it has been a long standing practice for these for these racist groups, these neo Nazis, these Klan groups, these all these types of racist groups to infiltrate law enforcement by getting in there, becoming officers, and then hiring people that are of like mind so that they can get in there. I my my father was a deputy sheriff for 33 years. He had seen all kinds of fuckery in his department. One of my best friends back home has been an officer for 20 something years, probably longer than that. He went to the he joined the sheriff department when he was 19. He has seen all kinds of bullshit. My mom was a former prosecutor. She finally left the DA's office because there was so much fucking racism. Mm. I mean, it's horrible the shit that's out there. These people have infiltrated our our infiltrated our 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 police departments, our sheriff departments, our our DAs, our our DA's offices, our district attorney's offices. There there is there is no safe place for us in our judicial system. We have gotten to a point where the only justice we can expect is a justice that we are willing to dole out. And that is it. T Stream, my bad, man. I, I'm, no, I'm bothered by this. It's cool, man. I, I'm telling you, this is like uh this is one of this is one of those recurring themes that you always, you know, that you always see time and time again. And you know, they have already, you know, through culture, they have already demasculated the black male. And now they they're either incarcerating and murdering those that, you know, those that are left. So, you know. There, sh- there definitely should be retribution, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sound like the conspiracy theorists or the, you know, or the terrorists, but I'm telling you, man, you, you better keep one of these close by, because when it pops off the fan, you don't want your face, your son's face, your husband's face, your uncle, your dad's face, going viral over some bull crap like this. Yeah, man. You know, it, you know it, it's crazy. So I, you know, to, to, to. Anybody, you know, anybody, you know, is dangerous out here is to the point where if you, you know, the American dream is to, you know, to, to do well for yourself. You know, they look like they was in a, in a nice, you know, middle class neighborhood, you know. So, I mean, is that the, you know, is that the recompense that you get for living your American dream? You know, you, you want to get up and take a jog around the neighborhood, but then you got to worry about you know, Bob and Billy Joe, you oh, know, busting at you and stuff like that, you know, and, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's these times, it's these times. So, you know, don't, you know, don't look at me like I'm, like I'm crazy, but trust me when I tell you that when the shit hits the fan, you know, everybody had to be prepared and it's probably, you know, yeah, it, it, it's going to, is you know, we have to be responsible and we have to accept consequences and stuff like that. But if we do not, you know, if we do not stand for ourselves, the, the government not going to do it, the white man not going to do it, the Chinese man not going to do it, or any powers that be is not going to look out for your best interest. If they were looking out for our best interest, then this situation would have been resolved all the way back in the 17, 1800s. But it doesn't, they do not look out for our best interest. And so we have to come to, uh, we, we have to come to our senses where we're not necessarily like fighting each other and learn how to use that energy to, you know, how to use that energy to do something proactive and productive with us as a people. You know, uh, we're currently a minority and we are we are like systematically picked on as the minority. And, you know, what what can you really do? You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, you uh, you know, you, you can call the authorities. You, you know, we have to you know, we have to always do what's right. And that's that's fine and dandy to a certain that's fine and dandy to a certain extent. I am one that believe in rules and regulations, laws. I believe that they're here for a reason. But what I don't believe in is that there is an exemption when it comes to the murdering of people that look like you and I. Okay. So if there's an exemption in the laws, then there needs to be a fix. 
And if that fix has to come by, you know, if that fix has to come by us rising up, then so be it, you know. Uh, but you guys, you know, we 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 spend a lot of time saying, you know, it can't be me, it can't be me, it won't be me. But the truth of the matter is that there, the way the law of averages work, it very well likely could be you. And, and Larry, Larry, look, I'm about to give this to you, but first, I'm about to stereotype because they do it to us and damn it on a day like this, we get to stereotype however the hell we want to. Look at Boss Hall and Little Roscoe Pete Coltrane. Is that not the face of what we think of when we think of Southern redneck hating black people? Is that yeah, not- they look like racist pieces of shits, and they are. They basically, they went out there and they filmed a snuff film. That's what they did. They went out, they hunted that man down, and they filmed a snuff film. And I hope that they, and, and I hope that they pay for it dearly. If the, and if, and if the justice system won't take care of them, I hope somebody else will. Somebody's got to do something. I'm going to get us to the next subject, which might make our blood boil even more. But to summarize this situation, thank God. For media. You know, one thing that I notice a lot of Anglo-Saxons hate nowadays is when there's a situation and black people pull out their cameras and start recording. They don't want you to record it. And I'm looking at them like, why don't you want us to record it? Because half the time when we got your ass on camera doing something wrong, you still get a benefit of a doubt, even though you sitting there sticking the knife in my back. You still get to try it. White people can murder black people on camera like we just saw and not face any sort of any sort of of, of consequences. So I mean, let's right. just be real. We can pull out our cameras and it'll mm-hmm. it'll cause some outrage on social media. But are these guys gonna face any consequences? Probably not. Let's be real. They're in Georgia. One of them is a former cop. They're not doing jack shit to them. Or, or they would have been done something before all this surface. <laughs> this is this is an example of what we're talking about. Now let me get you guys to the next door. Post your comments down below about that one. Now, and somebody anybody, does- anybody who doubts whether or not this is the case, but anybody, if you, when we say, if this was a black person, the things would be totally different. Right. Think about this. As a black person, if this had been different, it would have, if, if we had done this, it would have been entirely different. It doesn't, we don't even need to do this. This guy was going for a run. A job. Oh, he was without getting exercise and he was murdered. We don't need to shoot other people to get murdered. We can just go for a fucking run. A jog, man, as if black people don't jog. Every time a black person jogs, is he a criminal? No, we trying to be healthy out here on these, man. 